This is from the text board. Before we get to Mike Gill, who is sitting there, can't wait to get on with us for another great crossover. Please explain the underlying beef with Gill referenced almost day. I guess almost Almost every day. Yeah. Something specific. Now, do you want to take this? I don't have a beef with Gill. Yeah, I don't know where. I mean, I, I you know, every now and then, like I'll find something that I want changed, right. like the intro. Right. I want some of the verbiage changed, but I don't. I don't have a beef with Gill. Okay, so let's bring in Mike Gill, who is the host of the Sports Bash two to six and the program director of ninety seven three ESPN. Now, I guess my only question is, what are you doing to pervert the ears of the audience that you have from two to six? where people are now texting us in our time slot, please explain the underlying beef with Gil referenced almost every day. Like, like is he what, talking about yeah, us seriously, on the what show? What are you saying about us every day that somebody would have this misnomer that you and I and, and Harry all have a beef? Um, I haven't mentioned your name in about three weeks, so you're out. May's got a couple of mentions just because he reads the code word at 1230. Other than that, he must be listening to you and surmising that you have a beef with me. Well, some texter, I, we're just reading the text board. It's all I'm doing is reading this text like Ron Burgundy, man, verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have an answer for you there. I think you're saying stuff. I think you're saying some subtle things in your show, like a little shot or two. It's very. It's like the coffee cup I took some or the water shots bottle. at others today on the show. You did, and it was if beautiful. You, if you really figure it out, you'll get it, but... Like, uh, you know, the communication that I have with Gil is all positive. Yeah, I'm a pretty positive guy there, Harry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've never I've never worked with a program director that is, you know, that gives compliments about my shows. <laughs> I've never had that. Well, you never worked with a program director who's hosted a daily four-hour show. Well, that's true. You know, there's there's a difference true. when somebody's telling you how to do something that they actually do. And Mike does it really well. See? So there's no beef here. We just no, praised there's no you, beef. No, your believe show, me. and your management abilities. Thank Will you. Will you stay the hell off our backs now? I, I, yeah, I'm on your back constantly. Do yeah. this. Change to this. Talk more about this. I mean, we can't breathe without getting uh, two or three texts way, every five minutes well, about like you know, changing this up. Bruce Willis was underrated as Mikey and Look Who's Talking. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because... <laughs> Look Who's Talking 2 yes. Look who's was talking. referenced as the worst movie he's made. At John Mac, J O N Mac 243, tweeted that in. What, what is Look Did who's he really? Talking? What Look Who's talking, talking when he was the voice of the baby. Remember? Oh, okay. Now, yeah, it, it's I didn't a stupid it. movie, yeah. but it was a kind of novel idea, and I have to give him credit for that. They actually played it off pretty well. I didn't see it. Nah, I didn't uh, see it. Come on. No, okay, what are your thoughts, ah. Mike, coming up at uh, 2 o'clock on this rumor with yeah. Moby? Moby, the the singer, yes, who stole all the music, yes. I didn't I didn't see this. I, I I when I drove around Morgantown when I was like 1998, that Moby CD was, I mean, I ran that thing up and back, left and right, man. Despite everything was stolen on. I that didn't CD. know that until like I I researched that afterwards and found out that he stole Porcelain, which was the track that he stole, and I played From it. Who? I don't remember, but I played Porcelain coming back from one of my breaks the other day, and someone was like, dude, that's Moby. That was awesome. And then somebody else was like, why are you playing Moby? He stole that song. And, yeah. I, and I researched it and found out that Porcelain was a song that he actually ripped off. Okay, so When It Fell Apart is a book, new book that he came out with. And really? now he's alleged to have dated after she flirted with him. Natalie, Natalie Portman. Portman. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, this That's is from the guy pull. who steals everything. I was Chances a big are, fan of her. Yeah. Yeah. She was big when big was huge. Wait, are you still... What, what happened now? Is she not no, I, or I'm, attractive I'm, anymore? I'm still... I haven't heard about her in a while. What was she doing? Star Wars? Uh, I haven't I, watched I a movie since that. 98, so... Yeah. She hasn't been in a movie since no, 98? No, I haven't hasn't. seen a movie. Listen. Who do, what do you have next now? McMullen, Mosher, Keith Ryan? Keith Pompey is coming up. At 2.30. Who? Keith Pompey. That's right. Enjoy it, my friend. Hey, I enjoyed your show today. Oh, wow. you were listening. I was entertained. Jesus. We love you, Mike Gill. 4.30 and 5.30, you can win $5,000. Code word. Good luck, Josh.